That is a picture of the photographers of the Second Marine Division that landed on Tarawa. Me, I'm right here at the top. They're all gone. All gone. I have never forgotten the battle at Tarawa. The uh, Japanese lost over 4,000 people in that particular battle. We had about a little over 1,000 killed and uh, about 2,200 and some odd wounded in 76 hours. Nearly 70 years later, those memories remain fresh for 91-year-old Norman Hatch. When you get into the battle, the blood begins to race and you do your job. My job was to take pictures. I had to shoot the pictures the best way I could possibly shoot them. Hatch carried a hand-cranked 35-millimeter movie camera. He waded in right beside machine gunners going ashore. Looking through the viewfinder and trying to frame the story that I was shooting, it was like looking at a movie. And uh, in a sense, uh, I felt detached in a degree from what was happening around me. Even when he saw his comrades get shot and fall, Hatch continued to document the battle. The troops that were on the so-called front line would say when you come up, what are you doing here? You don't have to be here. And I would say, yes, I do, because the public has to know what we're doing. And this is the only way they're really going to know is by seeing this film through the newsreels. President Franklin Roosevelt had to grant special permission for the public release of Hatch's film, which included gruesome and disturbing images. Nobody really had seen a down and dirty fight. That's the best way to describe it. Tarawa was really the first film that the public saw of in close fighting. Both our people and Japanese in the same frame of film. These are the Marines who took Tarawa. Hatch's footage is included in the documentary film with the Marines at Tarawa, which won an Academy Award in 1944. It is also featured in director Stephen C. Barber's new documentary, Until They Are Home. The film chronicles efforts to find the remains of fallen Marines and bring them home, almost seven decades after the last shot was fired on the Pacific Island. After the war, so many people would say to me something about, uh, how come you walked all over the play battlefield and never got hit? I have no answer as to why I wasn't shot. You take chances and hopefully you win. That's the way it goes. For producer June So, Amy Katz, VOA News.